Hello, this is Last Garden Standing, and today, like I told you last week, we are going to take a look to see if my indoor greenhouse, which I've plant, done here, is really working. Is it producing like I thought it would, or is it even better? Right now, we've got the tomato plants, and I'm going to show you real quick. I hope you can see them. They're really good looking. They've got a dark stem. They've got second, third, day, third leaves coming out. They're looking really, really good. They look like they need to be transplanted. So that's what we're going to do today for one thing. Uh, we're going to separate them because one thing tomato plants do is you can plant them all the way up to the leaf and all those fine little hairs there, you can, uh, they will get roots coming from there. So we want to plant them way up. And that's what we're actually going to do today. We also have some lettuce that is looking fairly decent. It's getting more leaves, so we are definitely going to transplant that as well. So that doesn't look bad. We have a couple, three spinach plants also that's looking really good, but they do look like they need to get out of these small pots. Transplanting today, I've had my little greenhouse going. Uh, 14 days, so that's only two weeks, when I first planted my little seedlings. I had the grow lights on them way down on top. I've had to adjust the grow lights twice. So I say it's doing pretty good, but we'll take a look. Uh, I've had the tomatoes and the lettuce and all that in this area because I am watering all things from the bottom. I feel like it just likes it better. It does better. I'll explain more about that later. One minute, we're going to separate these tomato plants, actually separate them and transplant them in these containers right here. I'll be back in one moment. Before we get started, I just want to do a close-up of those tomato plants right there what they look like now. Here's some that we're going to separate. And here is actually my greenhouse. We've got some basils down there at the bottom too. Yeah, I hope you can see it. The lighting might be a little hard to see. But we're going to bring those out and transplant them too. But those are the kind of lights I've had. And it, they've just done great so far. So I say the greenhouse is definitely working. I'll be right back when we get ready to transplant. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is separate these guys. I've got them um, Rudiger. These are the Rudigers. And they are quite wet, so I don't know how well they're going to separate. I hope they don't just fall apart. First of all, before we get started, we're going to fill some plant some planters up and I've got my soil here I'm going to get some um, potting soil but I'm going to put a little bit of their seed starting mix too just so they don't get into a shock too much they will go into shock somewhat so we we're just going to put a little bit of that in there as well just so the shock isn't so great perhaps so we're Mixing those up, a little bit of their soil they're used to, and a little bit of partially potting mix. Organic, by the way, is what I use. I get that at um, Home Depot is where I usually shop. It's close to my home, and I like the store, so that's where I get most of my lighting, my trays, and everything. So there's one. We'll just... See if we can't get a couple of these done, and then I'll show you how we do the first one. Here we go. There's two, and I'm sure we'll get three out of that, maybe actually four, it looks like. Which I want to do that many in case one or two doesn't turn out. I've got at least two or more to put into my garden this summer. 
So we're mixing that up. I can do a fourth one in a minute. Set that aside. What you want to do with the soil is firm it down. I have not watered it. Some people do that first. But I'm actually going to put it in a tray where I can water from the bottom. So you want to do this. Make a hole like this. All right, I have my plants prepared. I've made a hole, kind of pushed the sides so they can fit in there really well. But right now we're going to separate them. We're going to do these this kind first. Like I said, it's a Rudiger tomato. I did send off for these tomatoes. That is one thing I did. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to separate these. Let's see how they do. Be very gentle, but you'd be surprised how well they do. We're just going to kind of separate them. There's one. And there's one. They're looking good. And here's two more. They've actually done well. These two are pretty close together, as you can see. Ooh, yeah, these are real close. So there they are. Now we're going to look for root rot. There is none. It would be kind of black if that was the case. They look dark. They look good all the way down. All four of these plants do. So right there. Very good looking stem. So we're going to keep those here like that and we're going to plant them separately in their own containers. Here's the first container. Let's get this guy right here. We're going to push him way down in Hope you can see this. And cover him way good. Actually push him down a little bit. Not too hard though. Then get some more soil. Pack it in there really good. Remember what I said. Tomatoes like it all the way up to their leaves. That gives them a strong root system. And that's what you want for your tomatoes. Pack it down a little bit. Make sure the plant is firmly in there. There's the first one. Looking good. I'm going to do one more for you. Here's one. Always lift the plant by the leaves and not by the stem. So we're going to put him in there. Push that all down. Get some more soil, like this. Oh, that went way over his leaves, so we want to push it down. We don't want to drown him. Push it down a little. There you go. And there is the second one. So I'm going to finish doing these two. And then I'm also going to do, uh, this is the Rudiger too. Wow. And so we did a lot of those. And these are the Mara Globe Supreme. And there's more. We also are going to be doing, uh, well, we have two of those and two Rudigers. Let's see what this one is. This is a porter. So it looks like that, oh, and this is a porter, but you can see that this didn't do as well as this. So I don't know if we'll waste our time on that. We, we might leave this in the greenhouse and see how it does in this container. It doesn't look like it did real well. It probably didn't get, he probably got rubbed out of the light. But this one looks good, so we'll do that one too. I will be back in just a moment. Okay, I have done all my tomatoes that I'm going to do. This one right here is really small. I'm going to put it back under the greenhouse. And the only reason I'm going to try to save it is another porter. I've only got one that, I, that came through, so I kind of want to save it if I can. So I'm putting that back in the greenhouse. 
But other than that, here is my tomatoes. And I've got some over here too. I don't know if you can see them. Probably not, so I'm not going to show you that way. I'll show you this way. And they look really good. I did plant my lettuce. And now I'm going to plant the rest of them. I have like four spinach plants. The pots are already made. And I'm just going to do something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and let you see how I do them and get them done. And I'm going to let my son in the other room, he's going to play some background music so you'll have something to listen to while I'm doing that. All right, so we're going to get started, and I'm just going to show you. Thank mm -hmm. you. 